I tried to leave a comment on Got That Funk's video, so I guess I'm just going to have to leave this as a video response. It's actually a lot nicer to leave a video, isn't it? Um, for as long as I can remember, my entire life, as a matter of fact, people have laughed at me. I'm an eccentric. That's just my nature. And also, for as long as I can remember, unless people did something about it, I didn't care. Um, unless people decided they were going to, I don't know, beat me up or something. Although I've always been a, when, when I was a kid, I was fairly big <laughs> and I'm a pretty big guy now. So usually <laughs> the, uh, the kind of ridicule that I get never really gets any more than ridicule. Uh, if people only knew, uh, you know, how much I actually enjoyed being ridiculed, I think that they probably wouldn't do it because the whole point of a lot of the ridicule that I'm on the receiving end of is to annoy me. If you notice how I deal with people who try to viciously attack me verbally on YouTube, I just tend to sort of go, whoa, <laughs> I, I provoke that kind of a response in somebody? Why is that? It's sort of just curiosity along with, I hate to say it, amusement, which could be rooted in egoism. I don't know. I don't care, really. Um, but anyway, I'm, I don't seem to have the embarrassment or humiliation gene, at least of a certain kind. Um, so I don't really, it doesn't really bother me the way it bothers other people to be laughed at. Now, some people think that that's some sort of inner strength, which I suppose indifference or a completely unconventional response to ridicule might be a source of strength in a certain way. Um, and bullies who actually try to ridicule me, uh, or especially when I was an adolescent, would, I, would take one of two tacks with me. They would sort of go, oh my God, this guy's got some kind of inner strength, and I wonder what that is. I want to get to know this guy, and I'll make friends with him. So people that bullied me and found that I was immune to their ridicule uh, would often sort of then cozy up to me after they realized I didn't care. Um, or they would just decide, fine, ridicule isn't working. We're going to have to beat the shit out of him. <laughs> so, uh, I grew up in a Irish neighborhood, so <laughs> that's just the way things were. Um, I made it through adolescence, but on a slightly harsher note, as I said in the comment I left on Got That Funk's video, I tend to look at people like that. Um, I, to this day, I get ridiculed a lot. And, I'm, you know, usually adolescents are the ones that are most likely to ridicule you. I look at them and I think, old. That person is old in the sort of pejorative sense. In other words, they're old and they're pissed off with life. And I would think that about these people. Um, even when they were 18 and I was 18 and there was that kind of dynamic. Is that the best thing that you have to do with your life? Is to go around knocking other people down? Um, and I, I usually wouldn't say this to them, but I couldn't help thinking it. And only later in life did I realize what a dreadful condemnation of that person that kind of attitude is. If I think old. Um... And I don't mean old in terms of biology. I mean old in terms of what's here and what's in here. That's harsh when you think about it. 